Hi, this video is about the Nova folding bed rail. I'm going to go over our mission of fall prevention, why I love this product, and then after this video, you can see the quick and easy assembly of this folding bed rail. So at Nova, we are on a mission to prevent falls. Falls are a leading cause of injury and death for older adults, and most of these falls can be prevented. Most falls happen in someone's home, and many of those falls happen in the bedroom and in the bathroom. And so bed rails are a great solution to prevent falls in the first place. But tragically, most people don't think about using a bed rail until after a fall has happened, and many of those falls can really cause serious injury. So we want to prevent falls in the first place. But oftentimes, the stigma of putting a bed rail on an adult bed just seems so unnatural, and it seems to really impact someone's independence. But I want you to think about this bed rail in a different way. Think about this as an independence product, as a, a product to protect people that you love, a, a product to protect yourself, to give you more security. So rather than looking at a bed rail as a guard rail, I look at this as a rail to embrace someone, to embrace the person in bed so they have safety and security. Just like when you put on a seat belt, you put on a seat belt to keep you safe in your car or on an airplane, this is like a safety belt, an embrace guardrail to keep the person here safe and secure and also help them embrace and also encourage their independence so they can get in and out of bed on their own and feel safe while they are resting and sleeping. Also, bed rails help when someone's in bed, say they're reaching for something, grabbing something, that's when a lot of falls happen as well by accident. These bed rails can prevent that as well. So this bed rail is so easy to install. I'll show you how to do that after the video, but the feature that's so great about this is the folding part. So it's so easy to fold. You simply pull up on this lever, and then that way the bed rail folds down. That's such a great feature. So the user can get in and out of bed, folding the bed rail down on their own, and also makes it really easy for the caregiver. And then to attach the bed rail to use, just click it in place just like that. The other feature that I really love are the organizer pouches here. So here you can put so many personal belongings that you want to access. So I've got just a couple of things here. We've got reading glasses, a remote control. And you can even put, let's say, an iPad, a magazine. Very easily can fit in these pockets. So when you're in bed, it's easy to access these things. All right, so using the bed roll is great because it does help the user get in and out of bed as a support rail, but then bed, then it's a great safety embrace rail. And you simply then pull up, and then now your loved one, the user, is safely in bed, and this bed roll protects them from an accidental fall or roll out of bed. And then again, it's so easy to fold it back down to get in and out of bed. All right, and lastly, we include a very important guidebook. This guidebook reviews entrapment prevention guidelines, safety guidelines, and also assembly. Be sure to review this very carefully. All right, let's embrace the folding bed rail and let's prevent falls. I'm gonna show you the very quick and easy assembly of your folding bed rail. It's only gonna take a few minutes, and the only tool you're gonna to need is a Phillips screwdriver. All right, so when you get the contents out of the box, you're gonna have the bed rail, the pole, and then the bracket. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up the bed rail, and you'll see that on this side is that where, where we have the organizer pouch with the pockets. Have that on the outside, and you're just gonna fold down this bar, and it's gonna lock into place. And also, just to show you, this is the mechanism that you pull that you can also then release it. That's what folds down the bed rail. But in this case here, to assemble it, you're going to fold it in and it locks into place, just like that. And you're gonna have the pockets facing the outside. So right. now on the bracket, you're gonna set it up so that on the straps, the warning information, which you should read, is facing upwards. And then you have the securing bracket down here. And the first thing you're going to do 
is to attach the security pole. So go ahead and you're going to see that push button there. Go ahead and give it a push and it's going to lock into place and same with the other side. All right, and so now you're just going to attach the bed rail to the bracket. And so you can just insert here and push it in place and same with the other side. Go ahead and push it down. And in your user guide ba bag, there will be a small bag of the parts. So go ahead and let's get that out here. You're going to find those two short screws and you're going to see that there's some Loctite. That's that blue glue that's on there that will secure these screws into place. So on either side of the bed rail, you're just going to line it up so that the hole is exposed and then you're going to insert the screw into the frame and make sure it's nice and tight. All right, now I'm going to show you how to adjust the straps. So this bed rail has straps that are adjustable for a twin size to a king size bed. You have the securing bracket that will go on the other end of the mattress, and then this will go under the mattress and you can adjust it for the size of the mattress you have. So I'm going to show you how to address, adjust this strap because it is a triple loop, which you're probably used to using a double loop strap. This is a triple loop, so it can look confusing, but it's actually very easy to adjust. So to, I'm going to go ahead and lengthen it. So just pull it to lengthen it, and then you're just going to hold on to that bracket, that clip, and then pull the other side. So you're really just pulling the strap from the top and the bottom, holding on to the clips right here. So again, I'm going to pull in, hold on to that, and then just hold the clip on the other side and pull it in. And that will lengthen the strap. So I'm going to pull it again, hold on to it, hold it the other side, and again, that continues to lengthen it. Now, similarly, if you want to shorten it, pull the strap, hold the clip, hold the clip on the other side, and pull in. So really, it's holding one clip on one end, holding the other clip on the other end, adjusting the strap, and then pulling in the slack. So now that your bed rail is fully assembled, once you attach it to your bed, adjust the straps for the mattress size. The last step is you have four long screws here. We highly recommend that you permanently set the bed rail onto the bed frame. So we've got four sets of screws here. So depending on where you want to position the bed rail, you can then take the screw and then insert it through the bar and then attach it permanently to your bed. We highly recommend that. And then lastly, you can reference how to put the bed rail together and of course all the safety guidelines here in the guidebook that comes with your bed rail.